Happy New Year! Yes, it's Julia here from Adventure Geek and today I'm out on a morning stroll. Um, one of the things I do every single year is I set my goals, I update a life plan. Um, I used a book many years ago called Living Forward which is by a guy called Michael Hyatt and it gives you like a process to go through to put a life plan together. I'll put a link to that book in the description below. Uh, I'll also put a link to my summary of my life plan. Um, I've done this for the last five or six years now and uh, yeah so you can read there. So I went to update my goals and the first part of your life plan is actually do, to do some reflection and I must admit I really struggled with it. You know I usually achieve probably 80% of my goals for the year uh, and obviously 2020 that all sort of went out the window and that's quite hard uh, when you have a look at it and you just think god but yeah, when you think of the positive things and things that I have done, I've done some awesome trails, you know, Jurassic Way, Southwest Coastal Path, Hadrian's Wall were a big achievement for me as well. Uh, and I know lots of things got cancelled, but I still did loads of awesome things. So anyway, one of the things that I have stopped doing for whatever reason, I don't know, second lockdown came and my morning walks just went out the window. So I felt like I needed to be accountable and I know what I'm like. If I put something in the public domain, then I'll do it. So that's what I did. I've uh, set up a group called uh, 60, 30, 60 or 90 day sunrise challenge. Uh, again, I'll put a link to that particular group down below. So every single day, and I've dedicated the next 60 days, I will do a sunrise challenge. So that's what I'm doing out this morning. The first day today is the 1st of January and uh, I'm doing a sunrise challenge. Saying that, it's really foggy and there's not much sun out at the moment. It's due up in the next five minutes. I don't think that's gonna happen. But that's not the point. The point is I wanted to be out and about uh, doing my morning walks because I know the benefits of getting out in the morning so early. This is a bit muddy still. Look at this down here. Okay. So anyway, on top of that, I thought I'd just do a little bit of more of a reflection thing and uh, I thought I would show you guys the top 10 things that I purchased in 2020 for backpacking that are the top of my list. There's some of these things I haven't even mentioned so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to head to my thinking tree as it's New Year's Day I don't think there's going to be many people around today. But this is beautiful. I can't really see it that well but yeah absolutely fantastic. So uh, let's go and do sit by my thinking tree. I'll do my top 10 things of the backpacking things I bought this year and then afterwards I'm going to name five things that I want to get for my backpacking gear hiking list for 2021. Let's go! Alright so this is my thinking tree. I've really got a lovely little seat here so this is where I sit and do my videos. See the seat? Awesome! Right, shall we just crack on with it? Now I've got a lot to get through so I'm not going to give too much detail on it. I'll probably do individual reviews and some of these items I also already have done some reviews as well. So if I've done reviews I'll put links to those videos in the notes below or I'll put it up in a card. So let's start off with number one. So the first item up is my Rescue B PLB, which is a personal location beacon. The one thing I do like about this is there's no subscription fee. It's a one-off fee. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but I'll put that up in the cards up there or up on the screen. But yeah, Rescue Me personal location beacon was one of my best buys. So these are in no particular order. So that's the first thing. Number two is my insulation pouch from Valley and Peak. Again, I'll put descriptions in these. So the insulation pouch is brilliant in the um, cold weather. So you put all your electronics in it and you can pop this in your sleeping bag as well. But it's also designed for exactly the right size to put your, um, you know, these ready meals like uh, the Wayfarer meals and stuff like that. So you can uh, eat out of those as well. I will do a, uh, I will do a review on this, but a shout out to both Paul Messner and Dave Outdoors. That's where I got the idea of that one from. So fantastic. I'll put a link to their channels below as well. Awesome guys. You really should check that one out. Okay, so this arrived in the post. I've had two of these now, um, but this is something that I really want to show people. 
um, because it's just something different, something new. I'm a big journaler, I journal every day, but I've got a big leather journal which is quite heavy. So I wanted something light that I could use uh, when I'm on the trail, but also you know what it's like when you're on the trail, it's really, really difficult sometimes to make sure you're keeping things dry. So these are called Through Notes. Um, it's by a guy called Russ Hepton, um, and he runs a YouTube channel, brilliant YouTube channel called The Trail Hunter, and he's designed these Through Notes. So this is like a mini journal that's waterproof, tearproof. Um, the way it's designed is fantastic. Again, I will do a full uh, review on these once I start using it. But yeah, brilliant invention, Russ. I'm glad someone's actually thought of it. So uh, I can't wait to start using that. So that's through notes, which is a journaling system for people that are on the trail. So that's item number three. I like to keep these uh, videos to 10 minutes or less, that's my goal in life. Um, so the item number four is actually my nature pack, uh, nature hike pack, which is the Rock Series 60 litre pack, which I'll be using for my through hikes in 2021. Um, so awesome pack, I've done a review on that, again, linked in the description. So that's item number five, is it? Four. I don't know why I do these number thing, because I always forget. Uh, okay. <laughs> Right, so item number five is actually, I'm wearing it, which is the Trekology, or not Trekology, it's the Trek 100 by 4Class, which is a decathlon uh, puffer jacket. Uh, super, super warm, super, super light. I'll put the weight on the screen, but absolutely loving this jacket. Uh, if you're a lady, don't get the men's one. I bought a men's one previously, and it's right, really tight around the bottom, um, around the, you know, the bottom of the, of the jacket but i will do a full review on this jacket uh, but definitely if you're a lady get the ladies if you're a man get the men's <laughs> okay right that's number five is the uh, decathlon four class trek 100 jacket puffy jacket right so i'm going to dive into my pack now for item number six so let's open up your pack okay so item number six is my Lanshan 2. Uh, I've got two of these now, but this is the four season tent. Uh, I did have a bit of an incident with it, which I need to do a review on as well, where it completely ripped across the top. Uh, but that was because I was using one of their carbon poles that they sold on AliExpress. Pointy end was pointing up. Wind was going really, really tough um, when I was on the Southwest Coastal Path and it ripped probably about, you know, good six inches or so uh, across the top but um, that was a human error I really shouldn't have done that but I absolutely love the the Lanshan 2 tent uh, the four season one is awesome as well um, it's got like this uh, silk nylon inside rather than mesh it just keeps out the chill but I haven't had any problems with condensation at all so yeah absolutely love the Lanshan 2 uh, so that's item number six all right, item number seven is probably one of my favourite bits of gear. I, I hesitated loads on that buy now button because these are quite expensive. Um, and I really didn't know whether I really should go for a quilt or a sleeping bag. But I, in the end, I went for the Thermarest. Um, it's like 20 degree, minus six um, quilt. And this is like super, super warm. Um, I absolutely love it. Again, I need to do a full review on it. It's got the nice pad straps. Um, it hasn't got a hole in the foot box at the end, uh, which is one thing that I really, really liked about it as well. So my feet are keeping toasty warm inside. So yeah, the Thermarest uh, Chorus de 20 degree quilt is absolutely amazing. Uh, and especially if you're hiking in the UK when it's frigging cold. So uh, yeah, love that quilt. Right, it sounds like it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna crack on with the last two. So number eight, these is just something completely different. So these are from uh, 3F UL gear and they're dry bags, but they're really, really light. I'll put the weight of them on top. But the best thing I like about them uh, is when you zip them up and you've got still got a little bit of the air in them, on the bottom of these, and this is great for pack liners, which is what I use mine for, on the bottom of it, you have a valve. So you open up the valve and you can take all the air out as well, which obviously it compresses everything really, really tight. Obviously, I'm just doing that very, very quickly. Um, but I've got various different ones. This particular one is a 36 litre, which is brilliant for a pack liner. 
um, but I love them so much I bought another few couple of little ones just for my day hiking that I do that go in various different packs uh, it's just because they're really really light and they're super they're quite thin but they're super waterproof as well I've not had anything get wet uh, inside these at all so that's a 3F UL gear um, dry bags and again I'll put a link to the AliExpress one in the descriptions below these are awesome so that's number eight Okay, as I say, it's starting to rain now, so I'm not going to get this out. But number nine is not my Xbed Sleep Mat Light, which is the air pad, which is filled with down, so you don't get that noise. That's not what it is, but it's the Xbed Sheet. So they actually do a fitted sheet that goes over your sleep pad, which obviously keeps your sleep pad nice and clean, but it just feels nice as well. It's not very heavy at all. Uh, it's got a nice fit. It takes moisture away from the pad as well, which I just think is, is awesome. Uh, and it's got pad straps that go over it as well, so it doesn't come off uh, and it stops you sliding around on your pad. And if you've got a quilt, it just feels like you're at home. So you've got a quilt on the top, which is like a duvet, and then a nice fitted sheet on, on top of your air pad as well. So if you like your comfort, uh, then the Xped uh, sheet that goes on top of the Xped mat it was just a really good buy for me so I liked it I just thought I'd share that with you so that's number nine right let's do the final one number ten all right so the final item number ten which is actually quite ironic considering it's just started to rain is actually this little bit of kit uh, which is a rain skirt now I know they look absolutely ridiculous but it's so easy to literally just get out uh, and just put on uh, you just fold around you uh, and you can just go and you get nice you don't get sweaty inside like you do with um, you know these waterproof trousers which are quite heavy they're really difficult to get on waterproof trousers especially if you've got muddy boots whereas these just flips around you uh, and it's really easy to deploy I just keep it as a bottom pocket in the back of in the bottom of the nature height 60l uh, I keep my rain mitts in there uh, my frog togs and my rain skirts all my waterproof gear goes in that bottom pocket of my nature hike uh, pack so yeah so the rain skirt I'm not going to put it on because literally I just live around the corner so it's not far uh, but yeah my rain skirt is number 10 so that concludes my top 10 things for this year what were your top 10 things if you have something quirky a little bit different please 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 share that in the, in the comments below I'd love to hear from you Right, I'm going to pack up now, make my way back, and then I'm going to tell you the five things or five gadgets that I really love in 2021 that's on my list for 2021. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, so item number one on my wish list for 2021 is a Nightcore headlamp, uh, mainly because they're super, super light. Um, and the one I've got is a Pexiles one at the moment, and it's a little bit heavy, the band's really thick. So yeah, a Nightcore headlamp is on my list for 2021, number one. And number two on my list is, I'd like to look at a freestanding tent. Um, I haven't got one, I've got two Lanshans, uh, and don't get me wrong, I love my Lanshans, I'm a big fan. Um, but I think I would like a freestanding tent as well, just to have an experiment and see what they're like. Um, so if you know of any good, fairly cheapish, freestanding tents then please please shout or put a comment in the ones below uh, let me know which one you think I should go for so yeah freestanding tent is number two I'm doing number two but you can't see my hands <laughs> all right so number three on my wish list for 2021 is something I've always said or oh, I'll never have one of them uh, and that's a poncho so there's a sea to summit poncho which looks really lightweight I saw this guy uh, who was doing a gear list for the Appalachian Trail and he'd got his poncho literally just in his water bottle holder. I've got now got two water bottle holders, so it might work out quite well. I don't know, we'll give it a go. One of the things I didn't like about ponchos was it all flapping around your legs, but I've been wearing a rain skirt which does exactly the same. So uh, if you can deploy it quite easily, chuck it over, it doesn't get caught on your jacket or on your pack, and you've got an extra layer of waterproofing for your pack, sort of makes sense. So I'm going to give that a go. That's the Sea to Summit uh, poncho for 2021 that's item number three all right item number four um is actually i would like a wireless microphone for vlogging whilst i'm on the trail at the moment i use the road um microphone which plugs into my phone uh, which is quite easy to use but i think the sound quality is probably going to be better from a wireless uh, microphone uh, so i'd like to give that a try I'm not really sure which is the best one to use i've seen some cheaper ones on places like aliexpress 
um, but I don't think I'll go for any of those. But perhaps the Rode, you know, Rode are well known, it's a good brand, uh, but they're a little bit more expensive. So if you know of a good wireless microphone, then please put that in the comment below and uh, love to hear your thoughts on that. So a wireless microphone is item number four. And the last one, item number five on my list is a Cascade table. I've been meaning to get one of these for ages, so it's probably one of the first things that I'll buy because they're nice and cheap. Uh, but yeah, lightweight backpacking table. And uh, I haven't got the patience to make one myself, as in the novice wild camper. Uh, I'll put a link to his. He actually made one, which looks pretty awesome. Um, but I think I'll just buy uh, the Cascade one, which is about 15 quid, something like that. Uh, yeah, but I think a table would be great. So yeah, that's item number five, is the Cascade table. Right, I'm going to dodge the mud and I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone, don't forget, get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can. See ya, ta -da. Happy New Year!